rescued from that grain bin also in Cass County. We're now learning about the heroic efforts to rescue the 76-year-old man last night. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Emily Zink looks at the equipment that helped save his life. Well, guys, Martin Mansky is still recovering here at CHI Creighton, but he says he's in much better spirits than he was last night. This cell phone video shows the dramatic rescue of 76-year-old Marvin Mansky. They lifted me right out the top. Family members say while Mansky was unloading corn, he got trapped in a Louisville grain bin. His family called for help after they couldn't get him out. The problem is, is the littlest thing that goes wrong can really be catastrophic in this case. Louisville Volunteer Fire Chief Jason McClun says a grain bin rescue is something rural departments train for, but training they hope is never needed. This contraption I'm in is known as a coffer dam or a grain tube. It's being credited for helping to rescue a man while he was trapped inside a grain bin last night. Last August, the Midwest Farmers Co-op donated the grain rescue tube to the Cass County Emergency Management Agency. No one in the county has had to use it until last night. Having this tool allows them to control the flow of grain. I can tell you that it definitely made their rescue a lot easier having this equipment because it allows them to get Again, a barrier in between the flow of the grain and that individual. Lee Paulson with the co-op says rescue tubes are lifesavers. They help fire departments work on rescue efforts rather than recovery efforts. I got a grandson that's 10. He was there the whole time. He didn't go to bed at 9 o'clock like he's supposed to. He stayed there. Watch to see if I got out. Mansky says even though he was trapped for nearly five hours, he is grateful he's alive tonight. I want to thank all the firemen and doctors because it makes you wonder if you're going to get out of there sometimes. That grain rescue tube used to save Mansky is stored in the village of Manly, but anyone throughout Cass County could use it. Again, that was the first time the county ever had to use that rescue item. Live outside CHI Crate and Emily Zink came to be Action 3 News. All right, good story, Emily, and there's more tonight. One of the doctors who treated Marvin Mansky was part of the crew that helped rescue him. Dr. Michael Wagner finished work at Creighton University Medical Center when he was called to work with the volunteers. He actually shook Mansky's hand when they pulled him out to check his grip. Today, Dr. Wagner told us his big worry. The concern when someone is in such a high level of grain like this is that it prevents them from breathing. Dr. Wagner says emergency responders did a great job of watching Mansky for any potential problems while he was stuck. Farmers are making progress, but cleaning out grain bins is still a very dangerous job. OSHA says grain bin accidents are down nationally since hitting a peak in 2010. In that year, 26 people died. OSHA reports nearly 180 grain bin deaths since 1984, with one in four victims younger than 18. Get the latest on Monday's rescue on our website. You'll find the story plus a link to today's interview with the man rescued. Go to KMTV.com.